What is going on guys? Welcome back into another video. Now with the new Root of Nightmares raid that dropped this past weekend, there are six new legendary weapons that we can get our hands on. Now really none of them is more desirable than the auto rifle that you can get from this raid, which is called Rufus's Fury. Now in this video, I'm just gonna be discussing how you can obtain this weapon, some of the recommended god rolls for both PVE and PVP, and explain how you can kind of synergize this weapon with your strand builds. Now before we get into it, if you're enjoying the content on on the channel feel free to hit that thumbs up and sub to the channel it definitely helps me out and i appreciate all the support now to start things out rufus's fury is a legendary 720 round per minute rapid frame auto rifle that sports a base mag size of 55. Now this weapon does do strand damage which means we do get a few unique perks that will allow us to really build craft into some of our strand builds now the weapon can be obtained from the third encounter which is the planet room or the final boss which is nezirak in the root of nightmares raid now this weapon is also craftable which means you can get some enhanced traits on this and there will also be an adept version of this weapon that drops from the master raid once that becomes available now the new raid weapons have an origin trait called harmonic resonance available on them which is equipping multiple weapons from this set grants this weapon increased reload speed and handling it also deals increased damage versus tormentors lucent hive and guardians using their supers now basically what that means is if you pair this weapon with a couple other raid weapons you're going to get a nice bump to damage to some of these enemies now i think times one you're going to get around a three to four percent damage buff and at times two it's going to be right around ten percent now all the raid weapons also have a unique perk available that's called paracausal affinity and basically what this does is final blows of energy types matching this weapon's alignment grant increased damage for a short period of time light final blows boost arc solar and void weapons darkness final blows will boost stasis and strand weapons now i haven't messed with this trait very much yet i don't think i've gotten an actual raid weapon to drop with it yet once i do i'll mess with it a little more but my understanding with it is the damage bonus provided with this is going to be right around 20 percent now we'll definitely have to look into this perk a little bit more because it sounds super interesting and i think that you can pretty much proc this perk at pretty much all times with your abilities and weapons it also is almost like having at least my understanding like having rampage times two at all times so we'll have to try it out once we get one of these weapons to drop with this perk now another perk that is available that's going to blend in really well with your strand subclass is going to be hatchling now this perk is going to allow precision final blows or rapidly defeating targets with a non-precision weapon to spawn a threadling at the target's location now combining this perk with some of the new exotic armor in the game like the Swarmers, which is specifically for Warlocks, which allow us to destroy a Tangle to spawn two Threadlings, and aspects like Mindspun Invocation, which allows us to consume our Strand Grenade to generate five Perch Threadlings, which can really take our Threadling builds over the top. And we also have Fragments to use, like Thread of Generation, which is gonna allow us to deal damage to give us a boost to our Grenade Energy, Thread of Evolution, which is going to give us enhanced Threadlings. Thread of Rebirth, which is also for strand weapons where final blows have a chance to create Threadlings. And Thread of Propagation, which is powered melee final blows with your strand subclass, grant strand weapons unraveling rounds. Now, combining all of this with some of the amazing artifact mods that we have this season, and you can get some insane synergy with this weapon with your strand builds. Now, there are two PvE god rolls that I'm going to be on the lookout for, and one of them I actually was able to get to drop from the raid this week and that one is a reconstruction target lock roll now while strand weapons and stasis weapons suffer from the same multiplier and don't do as much damage as other kinetic weapons do this weapon and this setup is going to do really well in surge situations with reconstruction you get the ability to have the weapon slowly reload itself over time and you get up to double the capacity of the original mag size and you can combine this with something like extended mags to get up to 128 rounds in the weapon and with target lock giving us a boost to damage it could really allow us to melt champions and yellow bar enemies now the other pve god roll that i'm going to be on the lookout for is going to be a demolitionist hatchling drop now again this is going to lean back into our build with threadlings being able to spawn as many threadlings as possible and it allows us to get our grenade back super fast with demolitionist now in terms of pvp i do think that this weapon is a viable option with it being a 720 round per minute auto rifle and i think if you get perks on it like perpetual motion and tap the trigger i think it's going to perform really well i think the real big disadvantage to this weapon is you start to get in that smg range and if you run into an akelos i still feel like an akelos is absolutely 
absolutely going to shred you. So if you need a ranged masterwork on it for your PvP god roll, I think that's really the way to go. Now to wrap things up, I do think that this weapon is one of the best strand weapons that you can get in the game right now. However, I do think it's going to improve as we craft it and we get access to the adept version with the master raid once that drops. Now if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for this weapon, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And guys, thanks again for stopping in and checking out the video. This is my first run at really doing a kind of in-depth-ish weapon review, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video.